coming in from the telecom sector and negative news. The Supreme Court has rejected the telecom company's plea by Vodafone Idea and Bharti Airtel on the recomputation of the AGR dues. Remember, uh, the telecom companies, both Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea, went up to the Supreme Court in a curative petition saying that there are mathematical errors in the computation of AGR annual gross revenues. They even sought a waiver of the penalty amount. The street was very, very hopeful that this would play out. In fact, we saw the stock price of Vodafone Idea go up to levels of 19 rupees. Uh, it was not a base case in most of the investor analyst expectation, but the street was hopeful. Now, this being rejected by the Supreme Court is a big, big setback. Now, AGR dues remain unchanged. For Vodafone Idea, it stands at a massive 70,000 crore rupees. Uh, the street, they, the company themselves were hoping that uh, it could come down by 50%, which would alleviate, reduce the cash flow burden, which starts on the company from next day, H2 of FI26, October of 2025. That's H2 of FI26 is when the cash flows after the moratorium ends begin for Vodafone Idea. And analysts believe that uh, in the absence of any relief on this, which is now the base case, it's going to be difficult for the company to meet its cash flow requirements. So that's the news. Just in case you've tuned in now, the Supreme Court has rejected the telecom company's plea, both Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea, for a recomputation of the AGR dues, which means AGR dues remain unchanged. That's a big amount, and companies will have to repay it. This was the final relief, you know, I mean, the yeah. legal recourse, mm -hmm. right? They had gone to the Supreme Court before, it was rejected, and then they filed a curative petition. Not often the Supreme Court even hears yeah. the curative petition, but in this case, they heard it, which is why the street was hopeful. That said, history does tell us that the instances of a curative petition uh, being positive are fairly rare, but, uh, you know, Bharti Airtel will still be okay. You know, Bharti, I mean, it's yeah. cash flow. It's, it's yeah. a much bigger company. The cash flows are fine. So Bharti Airtel did see that initial dip, but you can see buying emerging because the street is very bullish on Bharti Airtel. One of the recent target the case, price was yeah. nearly 2,000 rupees. But for Vodafone Idea, it's a big setback. In fact, we have Balaji Subramaniam, the IFL uh, an telecom analyst at IFL, and we've been talking to him about this particular development. Uh, Balaji, um, you know, hi, uh, morning. First, Wayne, with this uh, setback for telecom companies, big, big news. Um, uh, hi, Reema. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, so, uh, I think uh, this was something which the street was expecting in terms of, you know, the relief coming through. Uh, with that, uh, not, uh, uh, with, uh, you know, that possibility now looking remote based on uh, what the Supreme Court has uh, done. Uh, it does look like, you know, it, the climb for Vodafone will get stiffer because uh, if this relief had come, uh, the potential relief could have been uh, uh, to the order of magnitude of around uh, 35,000 crores, uh, which would uh, have resulted in uh, uh, rupees 5 per share uh, in terms of, you know, uh, uh, valuation upside. And uh, the other thing was that uh, once the moratorium uh, uh, gets lifted uh, later next year, uh, the annual outgo would have been probably lower by around eight or thousand crores. So now, with this relief not coming in, the uh, cash flow uh, uh, position of you know Vodafone uh, would be uh, uh, a bit more uh, difficult compared to you know what would have been the case if uh, the relief had come through. As far as Bharti Airtel is concerned, they would all, uh, they would have also benefited from a, uh, 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 from a favorable outcome on the case, but. Uh, you know, net net. Uh, even otherwise, you know, the, the other way to look at it is that uh, 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 more challenges for Vodafone Idea means you know uh, there is potential room for you know uh, 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 further uh, revenue market share gain uh, uh, for Bharti Airtel compared to you know what uh, it would have been if uh, uh, the relief had come through. So I would think it's a slight positive for Bharti Airtel despite the fact that they wouldn't be getting this relief, but uh, it would be negative for both. Uh, uh, Vodafone Idea and uh, Indus Tower. One word answer. Uh, AGR dues for Vodafone Idea were about 70,300 crores, right? And for Bharti? That is right. And for Bharti so Airtel? Bhar so for Bharti Airtel, it's around uh, 36,000 crores. 36,000. Uh, Balaji, do hold the line. We've got Ashmit. He's joining us uh, more on the phone line for the latest here. Ashmit. Uh, so again, a big setback coming in, uh, primarily, of course, uh, 
uh, for the two companies, the two listed players, Bharti Airtel as well as Vodafone Idea. Both these companies had moved the Apex Court uh, and had filed a curative application. In this curative application, both the companies had cited similar grounds, uh, cited uh, arithmetic errors. They had pointed out that the demand that was arrived at by the DOT was in fact preliminary in nature, uh, that there are computational errors, there are instances of double counting of certain uh, subheads and that that is what has led to this gargantuan amount uh, culminating with the AGR demand. These were some of the concerns raised. Now, importantly, they had mentioned this matter before the Chief Justice. Uh, they had sought for an open hearing. They had sought uh, for a hearing where the lawyers can make their case. Uh, however, this matter was taken up. Curative petitions is the norm. is taken up uh, in isolation within the chambers of the judges. No lawyers are present there. The applications uh, are present, but the lawyers are not. The judges decided this matter within their chamber. Uh, the judgment has just been uploaded. It very clearly says that no case has been made out. The Supreme Court has gone through uh, the applications that were made by the telecom companies, have gone through the concerns raised. Uh, but so far, the short note, the short point that the Apex Court is putting out that is no case has been made out uh, for reconsidering the decision on AGR. Uh, there is no grant of relief. Uh, the application by the telecom companies have been rejected. So with that, uh, the Supreme Court putting, uh, finalizing this AGR decision, this AGR saga, which has lasted for a better part of two decades now, the Supreme Court having the final word and saying that the AGR demands will stay, they have been upheld, and that there will be no change in the quantum of demand uh, that was originally decided by the Apex Court. That's right. Uh, thank you so much, Ashmit, for joining in now. So this is the final nail uh, uh, in the coffin, and there will be no changes to the AGR amount that is due by these telecom companies as well. Uh, Balaji, coming to you, uh, for a lot of investors who are bullish on Vodafone, uh, thinking that there could some there could be some relief coming in for the AGR dues. The FPO price was 10 rupees per share. We saw the stock go as high as 19 rupees a share as well. What do you suggest the investors do now? Do you think there is any other trigger for the stock? Or now it will continue to see issues because of the cash flow problems that this particular judgment has brought in? See, I think it's a little too premature to kind of do, uh, you know, what uh, exactly happens because the debt funding part is also pending. Uh, um, uh, the equity raise is largely done, but the debt raise is still underway. Now, you know, uh, what happens to the debt raise round because of this uh, because of this adverse verdict in the AGR case, um, you know, that uh, uh, remains to be seen. And if the debt raise doesn't come through uh, the CapEx plan of uh, uh, 50 to 50,000 crores, which uh, Vodafone Idea had announced for the next three years, uh, that would also potentially come under pressure. So, you know, uh, all those are uh, moving parts and uh, uh, even otherwise, you know, uh, Vodafone idea would have uh, 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 required seamless execution, you know, if uh, one were to be uh, uh, very bullish at uh, rupees 15 uh, uh, plus stock price levels. So my sense is that till uh, clarity emerges on all these, the stock uh, 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 might remain weak. What was your uh, base case, Balaji? Uh, in terms of a target price for Vodafone Idea, 15 rupees? So my base case, base case target price is 17 rupees and that includes uh, rupees 5 uh, relief from the AGR uh, verdict. So, you know, uh, that now, uh, you know, uh, might get completely knocked back and uh, uh, the rest is also contingent on the, uh, fund, uh, you know, funding happening, including the debt funding, the execution of the CapEx program and uh, subsequent uh, arrest in terms of the subscriber losses hard for Vodafone idea to go ahead and get that bank funding uh, it, it uh, I anyway you know this kind of throws uh, uh, the spanner in the work so otherwise what would have been pretty straightforward now gets complicated because of this hmm. okay all right Balaji thank you so much for joining in today with your quick thoughts that's a big news flashing at the bottom of your screen the Supreme Court has rejected the recomputation of AGR dues by the telecom companies which is Vodafone idea and Bharti Airtel you know, I think Indastars is the stock you also need yeah. to focus on because Indastars has slipped 10 yeah. percent. Remember, this is a stock whose uh, part of its fortunes are tethered to that of Vodafone Ideas, the strength of Vodafone Idea. Yeah. So Indastars too is now down 10 percent, and also Indastars has been a big outperformer. Um, you know, year to date, even after the correction, it's still up 93 uh, 93 percent. So uh, you know, negative news for Vodafone Idea Indas. For Bharti Airtel, yes, it's a negative news, but maybe in this 
you know, there is also an opportunity for the company to go ahead and increase market share uh, at the expense of Vodafone Idea. And we should pull up Reliance Industries too, um, as the owner of uh, Reliance Geo. They don't get affected. They don't have AGR dues, mm. uh, but they could benefit from an increase in uh, market share. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you, Rima, for explaining that uh, for us. And thanks to Ashmit as well for joining in with all those important details. The, the sector continues to be in focus. But it's time for a short break now. When we come back, we'll get you more on the markets on the other side. Stay tuned.